that's another thing. Hey guys, Ellie and I just finished playing video games. Okay, on three, you have to make the ugliest fucking face you could ever make. Oof. Hey guys, it's Sine and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about David Dobrik being racist and Miss Daniel Kahn getting body shamed. I can't start this video without addressing a serious topic first. I think by now we are all aware of the racial injustices happening in America today. I will be linking sites in the description box and the comment section where you can sign petitions and donate. Please remember that Black Lives Matter and now let's get into the tea. Y'all. Just when we thought David was the only good one left, this pops up. If you've been watching David for a while, you probably know that he started a house called The Vlog Squad. And the person who exposed him was actually one of his former Vlog Squad mates, Seth. Some people are a bit skeptical because this happened a while back and like why now a lot of people actually are not here for it at all and if i'm being honest i stand with them it's like now that the blm movement is getting the recognition it deserves he want to profit from that and he wants to get clout from that here's what some people had to say about this i don't know i feel like as an adult you had all right to say you know what no i'm not comfortable with this but you decided to consent to them when David needed your help with videos, he used your company and you were okay. So when you profit from it, you're monetized, you're making money, you're okay with it. But now that it's not benefiting you, you're no longer gaining, it's not okay. Seems like you're using the injustices of your community right now to benefit yourself. Bro, <laughs> that's messed up. These are the clips that Seth claims he's offended by. My next vlog, we're going to the police and we're turning you in. I found out my friend Seth has a warrant for his arrest. And this is because he has a bunch of unpaid tickets. So today, I'm going to turn him into the police station. Over, he's our only black friend. Don't ruin this for me, okay? This is Alex. You probably already know. What's hey, up? Seth. You want something to drink? What'd you... <laughs> Come on, Alex. <laughs> I'm black, so I feel like I have a right to say this. I really don't think David was being racist. I'd say he was being insensitive and making really dumb, stupid, stereotypical jokes. Okay, this is low-key blackface and it's disgusting. And once you're done playing the role, you get trashed and then they find someone else to play that same role because there's always a black person who's down to play the coon some people do agree with him and this is what i could find on black twitter david dobrik racist or not needs to stop staying quiet when people call him out on his problematic it until he's decided it's blown over then he can continue getting 10 million views per video straight white male privilege at its finest people love excusing david dobrik's race behavior because he's a DACA recipient. He's a white, rich man. I'm pretty sure homeboy will be okay. Not David Dobrik being racist. Bro, come on. Yeah, people were not here for it. Anyway, now let's get into the problematic Miss Danielle. A while back, Danielle went to Miami to shoot a music video. Quarantine has left the chat. Of course, Danielle posted a ton of pictures. Some people were not too nice. No Photoshop? Don't get me wrong, Danny. You've gained a lot of weight. You're still pretty, though. Do some exercises. Danielle replied with this comment. The amount of rumors and body shaming I'm getting right now is ridiculous. I admit I have gained weight, but I'm happy in my own skin. I don't need to be reminded every day of my weight. I know it's very easy to dislike Danielle, but body shaming is way too far. Talk about TikToksic, now it's transferring to Instagram. We need to stop normalizing this behavior. Anyway, that is all the tea there is to spill for today. Just a reminder, you can still donate to George Floyd's GoFundMe. This is the only legal page available. You can also sign his petition. All the links will be in the description box. If you can't do any of those things, you can definitely watch a YouTube video right here. Watch all the ads through and the ad revenue will be turned into money, which will be given to families of victims of police brutality. Please help out in any way that you can. It is very much appreciated.